Hi everyone, it's Elliot here. I'm back talking about another Blu-ray sale. Just a few days ago, I was talking about the Criterion Collection 24-hour flash sale. And now another great, great Blu-ray company that I'm sure we're all familiar with, Arrow, Arrow Films, they've brought a flash sale on their website. But this is going to last the whole weekend. So hopefully you're listening to this in time while the sale is on. But I thought that I'd do some videos on some of my recommendations for things that you could pick up during this sale. I'm going to do this video on some of my favourite Arrow Academy titles that are included in the sale. And I'm going to do another video about the Arrow video releases that I would recommend. If you like these kind of videos, if you like me talking about Blu-rays and giving recommendations and talking about these kind of films, don't forget to leave a comment and like this video and subscribe because that lets me know that you like this kind of stuff and I'll do more of it. You know, without that, I kind of don't really know what I should be doing on this YouTube channel. I'm not an expert, clearly. So I need a bit of guidance from you guys and girls out there. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you like this kind of stuff. So I'm just going to get straight into this, okay? So I've got lots of good stuff here. I've got some single title releases and then a few box sets. I'm going to start it off talking about some of the single title releases. Now, some of these are only £5 each. Uh, these are some of the titles that were included in the Rainer Werner Fassbinder collection. I have The Bitter Tears of Petra von Kant and Ali Fear Eats the Soul. These two are both £5 each, which is incredible value. Uh, these are both available in the Criterion collection, and they are so much more expensive if you want to get the Criterion editions. So to get these for £5 each, it's an absolute steal. If you're not familiar with Rainer Werner Fassbinder, what can I say? He's one of the best German directors of all time. He led a short but prolific career. He made so many films in the time that he was active. Uh, he died quite young. Um, and he made so many great films exploring uh, social class, uh, LGBT, you know, interrelations, things like that. Um, yeah, great director. So if you're interested, at five pounds a pop, you know, what what is there to lose? So keeping on the same thread of Fassbinder, there is this little beauty. The Eight Hours Don't Make a Day box set. Um, this has all five episodes of the television series that he directed. Um, this is an absolute steal because you can pick this up currently for £15, this entire box set. Um, it is limited as well. I don't think it sold that well, I'll be honest. I don't think it sold that well. That's why it's still available. But it's not going to be printed again. I'm pretty sure they won't reprint it if it didn't sell well. So to get it for £15 right now, I would totally recommend it. Um, you've got three discs, I think it's three discs, or three cases, and there's a booklet and a nice hard case. You know, we like hard cases here. Um, again, this is also available in the Criterion collection over in the US, but at a much higher price tag. So I would definitely recommend this. Uh, yeah, it's even like just worth a punt. If you've not watched any Fastbinder, I would just recommend getting this because it's so easy to watch. Absolutely easy. And also, if you're from the UK and you know what Coronation Street is, this is quite like Coronation Street, except if it was directed by a great German auteur of cinema. So yeah, definitely recommended. Right, I'm going to talk about two different titles next. Now, I have the limited edition versions of these titles, which unfortunately are out of print, so you can't pick these up exactly, but the other versions of them are readily available, and I would totally recommend getting these, okay? First one is The Apartment, directed by Billy Wilder. Billy Wilder, one of the greatest directors and writers of all time, and The Apartment being, in my opinion, one of his best films, in a beautiful presentation by Arrow. Um, so, th like I said, this is the limited edition version, which you can't get. So you don't get the booklet or the case. But I'm pretty sure everything else you get 
is on this single disc that's housed inside. And it's got a ton of special features on it as well. Um, if you've not seen The Apartment, my God, this is such an amazing film. Um, Jack Lemmon and Shirley MacLaine have this really great chemistry on screen. Um, and it's just so well written as well. Uh, so I totally recommend getting this because the, the disc is only £7.50 currently in the sale. So The Apartment is well well worth your time and money the other limited edition set that unfortunately isn't still available but it is in a standard version is Christoph Kislowski's Decalogue series now I've recently talked about this on the channel uh, me and my dad did a podcast on the first uh, episode of Decalogue so if you want to check that out if you're not familiar with this already I would definitely recommend checking our podcast out to get a kind of gist what it's about. Um, but yeah, you can't get this box anymore with all the discs housed separately in the booklet and stuff. But you can get the standard edition of this, which has pretty much everything included in here, like I say, except for the booklet. You can get that for £10. £10, which is, again, completely ridiculous considering that, yes, again this is included in the Criterion collection at a much higher price tag. So this is a great opportunity for those people who are interested in Criterion and collecting Criterion movies, but are looking for a cheaper alternative without sacrificing the great attention to detail and special features and presentation. So yeah, definitely worth picking up. You get so much content in this. And for £10... Well, it's a pound an episode, so, you know, you'd be silly, silly not to get that. This next lot of titles, these are all uh, single disc release titles, so none of these are box sets or anything. These are all £7.50 each, which I think is incredible value, absolutely incredible. You won't get these cheaper anywhere else, I don't think, because even when HMV and FOP here in the UK do these offers... They tend to only put these on for two for £15 anyway, which works out the same. So you might as well buy them directly from Arrow. The first one I've got is Children of Men, directed by Alfonso Cuaron. If you've not seen this, this is a modern masterpiece. A really great film. Um, uh, I'd describe it as a sci-fi dystopian story based on a, a novel by the same name. Uh, basically the gist is this world, there are no more babies. Babies aren't being born and people are still aging. So there's, you know, popularity, uh, not popularity, population is on the decline. Um, but then what happens if suddenly someone is discovered to be pregnant? Things get very interesting. So I would definitely recommend this. Uh, Alfonso Cuaron, I think is one of the great, modern directors if you've not seen his film Roma that just came out in the Criterion collection actually which I do happen to just have here I only just picked this up so yeah Alfonso Cron, great director Children of Men definitely worth £7.50 speaking of great directors oh boy we got who we got here that's terrible I don't know why I'm why am I doing that voice I have no idea Vittorio De Sica Miracle in Milan. You're probably like, well, I've not heard of that film. I've heard of Bicycle Thieves and maybe Umberto D. Uh, but yeah, Miracle in Milan is De Sica's film, which I think doesn't get enough attention. Obviously, Bicycle Thieves is tremendous. One of the most famous Italian films ever made. But Miracle in Milan is, you know, really a great, great film. Um, it did... It says on the back here, it won the grand prize at the Cannes Film Festival when it came out. But beyond that, I don't think this gets as much love as it deserves. It's kind of in the same vein of Bicycle Thieves in that it strives for a, a realism. But they describe it on the back here as magical realism. There is a kind of magic about it. And it's just a great look at the, the shanty town living in Italy. Um, it's... It's very uh, Chaplin-esque in parts as well, which, I mean, I, I didn't read that off the back. That's one of my own thoughts. Uh, but yeah, Chaplin-esque, just great fun. And for £7.50, it's well worth having in your collection. 
Next up, one of the films by one of my favourite directors of all time, sadly no longer with us, uh, Robert Altman's Gosford Park. This is actually the reversed sleeve of Gosford Park because if you're not familiar with Arrow, they do reversible sleeves where they have new commissioned artwork, but then they also have the original artwork on the flip. So you can just switch them whenever you want. Gosford Park is a great late example of what Robert Altman does best. You might be familiar with him from films like uh, Nashville or Three Women or Long Goodbye. Um, He's great at doing these ensemble pieces with lots of different actors just kind of co-mingling. And he, he loved improvisation and just letting people you know interact and just capturing the moment he didn't he didn't do so much directing of like do this and say it like this etc he just kind of let people be and tried to capture the best bits and this is a great example because there are so many people in this film um set in england with lots of english actors so it's close to my heart and it's basically got every famous english actor from the time in it so just a great film um written by julian fellows as well so if you know julian fellows from downton abbey fame if there are any fans of downton abbey this is kind of like the the prototype the precursor so i love this film and i totally recommend it for seven pound fifty number nine on this list of recommendations is the hired hand directed by Peter Fonda of Easy Rider fame, of course, Henry Fonda's son as well. This is a very strange film. It's a Western. It's very um, mystical and ethereal. It's not a typical American Western. Uh, It was made in the 70s when there was lots of experimentation going on in film. And if you've seen Easy Rider, I mean, you know how much experimentation was going on there uh, on set and behind the camera, uh, if you know what I mean. Really fascinating film. Um, It's got Warren Oates in it, as well as uh, Peter Fonda. Shot by the great DOP, Vilma Sigmund, who has made some of the best-looking films ever, and is I think he's the best cinematographer who ever shot a Western. Because if if you've seen any films shot by Sigmund, they're very grainy, very textured, And it just creates this kind of earthy, uh, lived-in feel. If you've ever seen um, Robert Altman, who I was just talking about, if you've ever seen his uh, McCabe and Mrs. Miller, he, Zygmunt, shot that. And that is so um, earthy. And just, uh, it feels like an artifact dug up from the past. It's not clean. That's one thing that I don't like about modern Westerns particularly. They can be written so well and directed well and acted and all this. But if it looks too clean and if and if it looks like people aren't living in the dirt, I, I don't really like it. So this has that and it's just ethereal, very out there uh, for £7.50, completely recommended. And last up, I have another Western film. This has one of my favourite actors of all time, a complete crazy nut job. And this is the only film that he ever directed. It is. One-Eyed Jacks, directed by Marlon Brando. This is such a great film, really surprising. It's actually one of my favourite westerns of all time. Brando directed it, he stars in it. It's the only film he ever directed. Originally, this was going to be directed by Stanley Kubrick, but there was some kind of artistic, you know, disagreements or whatever they call them. Artistic differences, not disagreements. So, after Kubrick said, see ya... Uh, Brando was just like right I'll I'll do this myself and it's a really great film it's not a disaster at all uh, this is also available in the Criterion collection and again if you want to pick that up you're going to pay twice if not three times what you would pay for this right now this is £7.50 completely recommended Brando at his craziest both on screen and off screen definitely recommended there you go That is my recommendations for the Arrow Academy flash sale thing that's going on at the moment. That's it. It's on Arrow Video's own website. So if you want to go to their store page, you can get all these great bargains. And yeah, tell them I sent you. You know, they they might they they'll be like, who's that? Whatever. 
if you happen to be watching this video after the fact, after the sale has ended, don't worry because these recommendations, these films that I'm talking about, they're films I love and I would recommend you picking these up whenever you can for whatever price you can, whether it's on Arrow or Criterion, whether you steal it from the library, you know, whether you do anything, I don't condone stealing, but if you go out and see these films, I think you'll be better off for it and you'll have to come back and let me know what you think of these. So that's been another video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I said, let me know if you liked it because I'll do more of these kind of things, more of just me rambling on and on about these films. I'll be back very soon for another video. So until then, keep watching great films.